This is the variation with the movement that is called skipping, skipping, back, back, back. What is interesting about this moment, it would change a little bit the timing of our original step. Instead of landing in the cross on three, one, two, three, we're going to land in the cross on four. One, two, three, four. So just before landing, we're going to have this lovely juicy shift. How to make a shift? What's the technique of shifting? Shifting is just straightening up your knee, basically. So let's go on the right leg. And we're going to straighten up the knee. Ep. And one more time on the right leg. E whoop. Important when you do the shift, the leg that is in the hold position, currently it's the left leg, it doesn't go together with the knee. Yeah, so we're not in this situation. It stays over here, holding on the knee. Back. And again, the only part that moves really is this, yeah? E. So you can try the other foot. We're on the left, right up, body a bit front. Shift. You will notice that when you're shifting, you, you can be flat foot, but you can as well just use the toe, yeah? Take a look. E, yeah? So you're arriving on the toe in that moment. The leg that is resting in the hold position, just, just rest. You had no need to straighten it up. All the sorts of reflexes, let's just, poof, we release. We hang it on the knee. We go, and step, and step, and step, and step, and step, and step. Very nice. Let's see how we can use it in our crossover. So we're going one, two, and that's the moment where we have bent left knee and we're going to use that shift idea. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just pay attention here to your ankle. There is a tendency to lock parts of the body while doing some variations and to keep them with a little hammer kind of form, you know. We don't need this. It's not going to help us. When we are flexing the foot so much, in fact, what happens is that everything else flexes together with it. So just release. Use this muscle to hold your knee. One, two, three, four. We change the foot. Now we're starting with the left. One, two, shift, four. So I encourage you to kind of learn and repeat this poem with me. It's, it's really the rule for me to learn any rhythms and any variations, is to learn the poem, the melody of it, the rhythm of it. One, two, shift, cross. One, two, shift, step. One, two, shift, cross. And it's nice as well if you kind of use your vocalise a little bit, or intonation, because this intonation, if you, you can even hear in my voice, it goes up, and by that we mean we'll have some sort of a small lift. I want to shift cross. Well, we don't have to go to falsetto, really, but let's go together, right leg. A five, six, seven, eight. One, two, shift. One, two, shift. One, two, shift, drop. One, two, shift, drop. Important is that as you realize in the practicing, shifting is a movement to the back, yeah? Step, step, to the back, and dropping. If there's ever really any doubt you're not understanding which foot should go when, we need to answer the main question in dance. Where is the weight? And the weight is always on one foot, never on two, and the weight shifts continuously. In this moment, take a look, we go. All right, left, left right, left, right, right, left. And one thing as well you can think about in terms of the flow of the step is that this shift is a tiny little pause in the movement. It's like a small little photograph. I want to hop, I want to hop, I want to hop, I want to hop. It's like a little tiny freeze. Wow. Let's go ahead and try it with the music. <laughs> 